when you deal with. He benefits more from attack speed than like a a lot of other heroes. Because he has a yeah. proc on effect. Yeah. What is like eighty damage? Ninety. Ninety, Ninety. Ninety at level four. Yeah. It's crazy. It's it's physical also. damage. As well. That's why I, I don't understand why people love shrapnel so much. Because it's like if you get one headshot, you've pretty much done the damage that shrapnel does. Well, the thing about like shrap realistically, like they walk out of it. The thing about shrapnel is that he gives you vision. Uphill for the snipe, and if you just throw it to the tower, which no, you can you be on your side of the river, you get one point. let's say you have level four of shrapnel, you're okay. on your side of the river, and you should shrapnel to their tower all the time on cooldown. It doesn't get any longer range when you level it, yeah, but it does more damage, yeah, of course. So but you're you, saying use it on the tower, yeah, yeah. you just like mow down the tower. the tower, okay, that's fair, huh? This is very interesting as we have uh, Wempus pull, pointing out. Looks like we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, this is what Funnick used to do all the time with Windrunner. Cut down the trees, get a Quell and Blaine, they just do Ancients, but it's gonna do it with a puck instead. Meanwhile, if you look at uh, Empire Mag on the bottom side, got boots on the Centaur, just they are dodging. Dodging. ran straight That's down weird. to drop an Observer Ward. Unfortunately, this one won't block the pull, so Puppy's gonna be able to actually continue to get some pulls. I've never seen Puff do this before on the Ancients. I've seen other characters do it. Okay, I've, so seen, I've seen uh, <laughs> Medusa do in my pup games yeah, yeah. all the Every freaking time. time. I just want to say, please, the stop it. Stop it. I want to I wanna voice a concern that I have. Mm -hmm. If the you look at Empire's lineup, they have all the Shrek Luna safe lane. Okay? Mm. That's a dead tower, right? Like, top, like, offlane tier one is dead for Navi. Okay. Even with a tree, they can't defend it because Edict will kill the thing instantly. instantly yeah. Puck has no wave clear. In general, they really lack wave clear until the gyrocopter gets farm, or they send Kuro and he maxes shadow wave, right? So like that's their two methods of clearing creeps. Empire able to get tier ones. It might be hard to push into tier twos for them, sure, but they're gonna get pretty decent amount of map control very quickly, and always want to fly. It's just like, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna block him. I mean, he, he's gonna block the first wave, but it's gonna be back in about 30 seconds. But yeah, that is a very legitimate concern. I mean. Um, I think in theory, Funnick could pull the, the wave off with his right clicks or maybe a nuke. But you still have to deal oh. with the edict in the right clicks. Oh, you need to be you careful. Can always want to fly. Oh. It's fine. I think always want to fly is going to come up again and block it. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be no no experience for a long, long time for Funnick. And they can't do anything about this because they can't send the tree. No. Funnick's actually blocking it. He blocked it himself. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, no, you don't get to block it. I'm going to block <laughs> it. Well, if you know it's going to be blocked, you might as well get dish out a couple more physical right clicks. That's true. Got some tangos. <laughs> Look at Always Wanna Fly, he's like hanging out. Unfortunately though, because Always Wanna Fly had Split Earth at level 1, that means Edict's not coming anytime soon. You should get points for blocking creep camps. Like enemy creep camps. What makes it an enemy creep camp though? Like just in Well, it's on his side of the map. Like okay. it's on Navi's side. Regeneration! You know what's something that I think a lot of Dota players should do more? You should League of Legends enemy creep camps. And what I mean by that is you leave the smallest creep. That's what no, I do. No, people do do that. Yeah. Like, Not enough. You don't see it in pro games. Uh, well, I think in some cases, like, say you get a satyr camp, right? You leave, like, the satyr banisher, which is a small one. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Or, like, any satyr camp, actually, because it spawns the same small creep in the big and the medium, so... I agree. It should definitely leave it there. Yeah. How's Donda doing? Doing uh, really well. He's 9 and 4 compared to the 5 and 2 right now of resolution. Yeah, actually, he's not even taking take aim. It's uh, just shrapnel level. Very, very interesting skill build. I think you take one point as you take aim at 4. Just yeah, he just a half that one point. Well, but he we'll might see. choose not to, actually. Depending on how safe he feels. Because like, he has that high ground ward on the Ancients. So he yeah. knows exactly where Always Wanna Fly is all the time. And he does have tree armor. And Always Wanna Fly is going to be level 1 for ages because he decided to block the camp. So he's never going to have Edict to break through tree armor, which means that there's a pretty low chance, especially before Resolution hits 4, because he needs a cold snap. Do you think that be able to kill him. Vance Core should have done uh, what Always Wanna Fly did? Because I feel like Shadow Demon is just much more effective of a level 1 hero. Opposed to less track, it seems like he needs, you know, Edict. Yeah, like that's why they switched. Yeah. Like, Always Wanna Fly just went top now, because he, he needs to And if they want to kill that tower, then... Having always want to fly, commit that time to blocking camps and not getting experience of his own is bad. But they could have also just said they wanted uh, they wanted Vanscore to get Soulcatcher before he started like doing anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so or honestly, if I were him, I would have leveled Poison. Like, the Sunstrike well, I mean, they have Sunstrike, yeah. Soulcatcher. That's a that that is a ton of damage output. So it is. But against a team that has tree armor and Puppy's already level three, like that won't kill. They need another instance of damage. Like they need a stun from always want to fly. That is true. Yeah. We'll see. Uh. How they gonna play it out? Funnick on the bot lane, doing quite well against Mac. A little bit of rocket barrage damage. In fact, a lot of rocket barrage Ooh. damage. Get extra wings on a stereocopter. It's beautiful. 
Is that a new item set? I think it, it is. It looks different than it. Yeah, it's a new entire thing, pretty much. I think he doesn't have is the actual gyrocopter itself. Wait, no, that's that is well set. So it looks like Empire are now going to prioritize pushing the tier 1, which I think is the right call, given the circumstance. Like, they need to kill this tower, so it warrants Vanscore and always want to fly roaming, right? Mm -hmm. Because if they don't, then the tower is alive. Sure, Silent's getting some farm, but Silent would be able to farm this lane no matter what. There's really no threat on the side of Navi to him. And Funnick's only level 2, so it's not like there's a coil coming out anytime soon. And plus, Denby is uh, he's doing well mid, and Resolution has started to catch up. He's got more points in Exort now, so his base damage is starting to... Uh, to get a little no. bit higher. I feel that if uh, Empire wants to push down this t tier one tower, they definitely can. It just, I feel like it would just give way too much experience to Funnick. They have the siege unit with three range creeps. It looks like they gave up the push. Radiance and Funnick suddenly is gonna be level attack. three. Also, Puppy was in the near vicinity, so he could have also rotated and gave it a little bit of assistance. But in any case, it seems like Navi is doing all, well in all three lanes. I, I consider Funnick doing quite okay now, considering what just happened about 30 seconds ago. Yeah, like just the wave pushing out and him being able to keep them from pushing yeah, yeah. And, and get the experience is definitely huge for him. But I'm, I'm a little bit... I, I'm not a fan of the shrapnel build, man. I'm really not. Because if you go take aim and headshot, right, and say you have three points in the headshot right now and you have two take aim, that means that you guarantee outrange the hero that you're against and you can do 65 damage. And this is a no regen, one quas invoker and bottom lane. We're also going to see Mag quite low on health at the moment. Those are broken tranquils, not really the most speed of this phase. First, yep. so the first one's going to be going the way of Navi. Nicely done. Yeah, and Havos gets it, and that almost puts him at six as well. Yeah, I think one of the most important things if you're playing offlane is once you notice the enemy carry has phase boots, you just have to play ultra defensive because the movement speed yeah. difference between your boots and theirs is just too high, and he, he just gave up. Uh, Especially when your play. tranquil boots are broken. Yeah. That's quite unfortunate. I, I do want to actually play a little bit of Devil's Advocate about the sniper. Shrapnel build versus take aim. I feel that when you get take aim, you have to play ultra aggressive just because you only have harass with physical attack, right? Yeah, but so I feel you like can play aggressive though. That's <laughs> the whole point of the build is to play Right, aggressive. but my point is when you're playing aggressive, you have to kind of walk across a river, walk up the hill, and, and you know, hit resolution. I think Not doing that against a shadow demon shot. is scary. Yeah, so, but look, so at maybe... their, look at their vision. Like, they know exactly what's going to be coming. That's true. And because of the fact that, again, like, always want to fly zoned out the... Well, he was zoned out uh -oh. basically by blocking creep camps. Mark finds Puppy the D. Puppy's free. It's so... fine. Yeah. 200 damage. Well, 188, I guess, but close enough. To be fair, if you look at resolution, he's being harassed down quite a bit. Yeah, now he is. But yeah. earlier, he wasn't really being harassed that much. And it's not like Dendi's spamming shrapnel on the tower, which is what you would expect from going a max shrapnel build. So I'm not really seeing the usefulness of having shrapnel here, because it doesn't do enough damage to be able to last hit with it. You're basically, like, what he's doing now, just spamming assassinate, is really all the harassment damage that he's done. Mm -hmm. If he had take aim and headshot, he could actually just push Resolution out of the lane with auto shrapnel! attacks and then kill him with, with ah, the deal. Leave him. Can you even come in and last hit? Region. It's like zo zoning shrapnels. <laughs> it's not last hitting or anything. It's like, I don't know, man. I, I get what you're saying. Like, the aggression that could be coming out from Empire, it might be warranted for him to play it a little bit farther back, and shrapnel does have a longer cast range than even having max rank of take aim. Just in general, being able to pressure the lane that much is, uh, well, I guess different strokes, man. Resolution has his Midas now as well, 7 minutes, it's not too bad with boots. Oh, oh. looks like the two is going to run right into each other, Soul Catcher is going to be on top, no Sunstrike though, so Funnick, should, uh, Funnick expecting a Sunstrike phases it, I'm uh, not going to see anything, but, I mean, Shrapnel or Take Aim aside, one thing we can agree on is Sandy's doing quite well in this lane. Uh, yeah, yes. Resolution <laughs> is going for Hannah Midas, and looks like he does have it. Dendi does have his coming as, no, he doesn't have his Midas yet. Take oh, on, score. Radiant's top tower is under score attack. Is caught behind enemy lines. And uh, he has boots. So Dyer's middle be tower oh, is under attack. Puppy walking up at the blind high ground, the ward's faded. Here comes the eclipse from Silence. Stun not even necessary. Silent gets a free kill. In the runs. I think you're fine if you're Navi because the entire top Dyer's lane rotated for a tree and support. Attack. So Funnick says, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, meanwhile, uh, earlier when, you know, Havosa's getting kills. He doesn't have enough mana to all. Or just keep it uh, yeah. <laughs> Pow. Pow. Is it hurting? I yawned. <laughs> just slightly, it seems like Navi is just getting the better trade overall uh, in, in all lanes. It's very, very close. Like, the thing is, 
The 044, I think, sniper beats Invoker worse than Shrapnel spamming. So Resolution actually is farming better than Dendi. Yeah. Yep. Especially yeah. with the Midas. Yeah, yeah he, he's got 25 denies and he's got 47 CS. Radiance top so tower everyone is under actually attack. has a ridiculous amount of denies this game. Oh, Ready. Puppy finds Silent. There's a rotation here. What's gonna happen? Uh, he's fine. Stun on the teleport. Kuro. He's gonna eat a skull catcher as well. Oh, Resolution beam so doesn't even Dyer's have time to use under yeah, Meanwhile, on the right side, though, spell. always when White gets picked off. So it's a one for one trade. A tier one push is gonna get halted as a result. Uh, they do force a TP out of that, so now it's lost. But we do see the power of Soul Catcher there. Tree and healing up the terror as well. It's a very delayed tier one push though, which is important to keep in mind because normally, like Puppy would only have like maybe one, two points in a tree armor. He's gonna have the third point soon. Yep. Which means that he's gonna start being able to keep this tower for uh, pretty much however long he wants to, assuming Navi keep reacting to these pushes and teleport to the tier one. So, in that sense, I don't think it was worth it for always want to fly to stop Punic from doing ancients because. By not killing the tower earlier, or maybe they should have just switched van score with him. Yeah. You know, change places so he Shrap makes sure that the shadow demon gets level two oh, after the. There's a kill. Man. Yeah, mid lane. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be oh, killed. Nice. But nice. uh, sun strike. The tower's gonna be there. And <laughs> oh, what well play here by resolution using that cold snap and I guess the tower <laughs> to uh, and make the sun sure strike that. Sun strike as well. Yeah, it was beautiful. Let's do that. Oh, no, it's a pretty good use of uh, shrapnel by Dendi though, because he's fired the shrapnel behind the invoker and just started right clicking on him with the creep waves aid. So basically, resolution was trapped between shrapnel, right clicks, and creep waves. And... I'm so impressed how he survived. Structures are fortified. Let's go find someone. It's funny. Funny is trapped with the illusion, so he's gonna all the way. Oh, oh mid air on the board. Radiant so top tower. So has and also the dream call, I think. Yeah, and they got a tier one tower out yeah. of that, so it's you know we delayed the tier one tower push, but that was that came pretty clean, so not too bad here coming up from Team Empire. Yeah, it's a really close game so far. It's just like two and two. People are trading farm. Uh, the one concern that Empire has really is Luna is not a good matchup for a sniper. Like it's just not. Mm. Y even if you have six items, what about you're never Sandor, gonna though? hit the sniper. Well, that's why the tree is very good, and so is the gyrocopter because. It sounds kind of counterintuitive to say that the Gyrocaptor ult is good against Centaur because you can just use it to run, but they're going to be using it to run Radiant's in. Top yep. tower right? is under attack. So you can just drop it on Overgross, or you can drop it when they're going to be running into your sniper and things like that. And plus they have shallow grave. So you imagine a sniper has to sit X distance away from a fight, say 950 ideally, okay? If you have, like, max shallow grave, that's another 1,000 range that you can be behind the sniper. Yeah. And the sniper is pretty much the only person that you want to grave maybe outside of Havos. So... You can be very, very far away from each other if you're Navi and still be affected in fights, which I think is a pretty good strength to have against the center. Yeah, the other thing that uh, Team Empire has to worry about is that this lineup is not just about the sniper. You know, the puck's going to be an issue at some point. Gyrocopter definitely will be an issue at one point. So you can't just focus uh, on Dendi and expect it to work. Looks like we're going to see a little bit of gang coming out from Vanscore in the bot lane. If they could get in, they definitely could kill Havos, but, you know... They have Sentinel. He has a thousand health, man. I don't know. Yeah. It could take a while. For well, them. they have Sunstrike, Soul Catcher, so... Nah, he pushed out the wave. It's going to be way too hard for them to go now. Yeah. You can smell it in the air. Oh. I thought Kuroki was going to ward off he's the enemy ancients. As he smoked it. I'm surprised he did. Oh, wow, he actually walked in the middle of nowhere. He's going to get caught out, man. Stop. All downs there. Living armor was used by Puppy as well, but Radiance not enough to keep him alive. Mid lane that Coil was used and it was missed. It didn't hit anything, so it looks like they're going to transition to a tier 1 top push. Oh, oh, he gets it. High damage coming denied. out from Invoker. Nicely done. So The baby showing the worth there. Yeah, with those trades, Team Empire definitely coming out ahead. Tower denied, got a carry, uh, kill on a carry, <laughs> prevented a kill on the mid lane. Go for Necrobook on Invoker. Straight away after Midas. I think it's pretty common actually. Yeah, Excellent invokers now. Nice. Actually, Necrobook's a good item against Sniper. You just pop the Necro, you send it onto the Sniper. What does he do? Like, he, he actually can't. Run, yeah, he, he can't fight it. Well, that can be kind of construed as a bad thing too. Because if you're just chasing a Sniper with a Necrobook, the Necrobook is basically only being used to get him away from the fight. So your Necrobook's really not doing any avoiding. damage. Okay, that's fair. I, I mean, know, it, would you would you trade a, like a Necrobook for? I enemy? think it's still better for the Necrobook to be chasing him, but I don't think it's as good as like you know obviously hitting somebody. Right. You, know? you can't have your cake and eat it too, Lumi. I mean, I can. I don't. I don't think you can right now. No, I can't. I really can't. 
It's bad. That's a kick and kill you right now. Why are they really going for a, this early of a rush? I guess they can. They have a whole double board screen. And the thing is, they have a close backup. It's very, very hard, especially that Dream Call is down from, from missing out of mid lane. Navi doesn't really have the initiation and power. Right -click from our side. I, I guess. You can shrapnel across the river, right? Yeah. Just think, man. He had max take aim. One point of the shrapnel. You could actually shoot Damn. in the pit from the other side of the high ground, like in the river. No, See man. the way resolution is Alacri himself. Should he not Alacri start? Roshan oh, has okay. fallen to the dark. That doesn't really matter. Okay. I mean, he, he actually hits harder. That's a blink for Mag. I think, because he benefits from... That's two blinks from Mag. Two blinks from Mag, yeah. He, he benefits from the Lunar Blessing as well. Yeah. And he has so, six orcs. And he has, I think, uh -oh. about the same. Right? Initiation of a boss. Um, Puppy's got overgrowth, though, but it's gonna be a blink. So if the sun actually missed, Cardinal's gonna get drawn right now. They're gonna focus on Vans Corp. Ultimate's gonna get them out of there. Eclipse coming in, and it looks like Puppy's gonna take the full brunt. Assassin on the background here. Puppy's still alive, thanks to the coin of a pup. Going in, and he's already dead. Looks like you wanna chase for more of Wem Vans Corp. He goes back in. I'm not sure why. I always wanna fly. He's gonna drop a split up onto two. A beam's gonna hit. A boss is just manning up. He does not back down. That's one more kill. Buyback coming out here from Van scored, but that's not going to do anything. Huge victory from Navi. That was so bizarre. Radiance Middle Mag Tower is went under in, attack. Missed the stop, and then used his ulti as a retreat back in. Oh, be a disruption. Some start coming down to Havos. He's going to land with the Soul Catcher. Puppy jumping quite low as well. Max, I don't know. Keeping him alive. Blink in for Mag. Stun hits on him. And the double edge to follow. What happens? A double for Mag, but he drops the Kuro. Now Dendi also going to die as well. Resolution TPing to the tower. And just as we were saying, that. Uh, Navi got away with something pretty good. Empire. We goosed them. They, they strike back. Well, I mean, they were diving for a Shadow Demon under the Tier 1 tower. That wasn't that big of a dive, though. No, no, no. Dendi, Dendi was past went... the, sh the Tier okay, 1. Yeah. But the rest of them were actually reasonably positioned. But Dendi's the one that bottom tower. But Dendi, well, well, the one that had Max take aim. It would have been 200 range for <laughs> All right, all right. I think we understand your point about Max taking no, I, I just like doing it because it's funny now. <laughs> Every time something bad happens, it's going to be because you didn't max take it. You know, that's... Uh, I, I play with a friend who, who's fallen. a sniper enthusiast. And every time, he, he just go for a 0-4-4 build. Yep. And every time we lose a game, should take, uh, like, if you had shrapnel, we would won that game. So it's just funny to hear you do the exact... Yo, speaking opposite. of having one point in a skill, what do you think of Shadow Demon not going for even a single point in Shadow Poison? Um, I think the synergy with having like a Lucent Beam and a Sun Strike, it's okay to max the Soul Catcher, but I, I would not put another point in Disruption. Yeah, at least get one point Like, in I there. would for sure put a point in a Poison, because it gives you vision. Yeah, yeah unless right. I'm up against something like a Spectre or a Radiance Carrier where I know ranking up the show. The other thing is, too, the heroes on Na'Vi, like, normally you max Disruption against heroes who go stats. Like, you would max it against the Morphling, yeah. for example. You know, because they get tons of agility, and the illusions actually can become quite annoying, or an AF, because they have mana. Mm -hmm. But the Na'Vi heroes don't really buy that many stat items. You don't yeah. get headshot from illusions. Yeah, you do not. That would so. be imbalance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I will say that a late game sniper, if you make like SNY or Scotty or something in Butterfly, they do eventually start to do some damage, but you'll have disruption maxed out by then anyway, because it's going to be like 35, 40 minutes in. Mm -hmm. Usually snipers go for items like oh, resolution. Madness and stuff. Oh no, he's like I this. think he can. Oh no, he has the wrong spells invoked. Never mind. He has to. I mean, if he summons Necrobook and Alacrity them, and then attack. he immediately goes to Cold Staff. That's, it, it takes way too much time. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's like pretty what instant. Like, oh, oh. TB no. cancel? No. He was being really greedy there. He wanted to try to kill Kuro. Kuro's gonna TP out as well. It looks like they need to from the ball lane. Oh, oh, oh. he's gonna hit, and there's no math to get him out of him. Puppy, the beam not hitting there. Big cooldown coming through, and they are gonna get a kill on Luna. I'm not sure exactly why Resolution was so deep there. I'm not sure why he decided Her to silent. Manta before the Overgrowth came out. That was... He was dodging the Assassinate. Assassinate. Yeah, but why would he dodge the Assassinate if he's at full HP and he sees a tree? Like, Look, man, it's a high skill play. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's a feed, man. That's, that's a... I should have 100% lived there. Okay. Andy, not impressed. No, it's true, though. Like, if you see the tree, maybe he didn't see it. Maybe he did. Maybe he was in the fog. And she was literally right next to him. Boom, buddy, buddy. Oh, he's dropping low. There's no blink. There's oh, there's the tree of armor. Not enough though. The deeps coming up with resolution. Trap no one for guys. And no take aim. Look at the necrobooks just zoning the sniper out on the tier two. It's dropping fast. I think it's gonna get put into deny range. It is in deny range, but it's gonna be hard for them to deny it. Oh, oh, they, they armored it. They armored it. Yeah. Okay. I would just heal it back. Thanks. It's kind of hard though. Tom. Well, I guess he is eight now. Yeah, he can do it. He can do it, man. I believe. I believe I can fly. It looks like he's going Mask of Madness. I would also appreciate it if we didn't like sing seal songs. 
Why? On the cast. They're awesome. What's what's a seal song? <laughs> I love you. Play me. <laughs> I would also appreciate it if you weren't completely oblivious to like everything. Well, that, that, that's why you have to start explain, explaining things to me. Yeah, come, come on. Well, look at that. They okay, have you, you heard this song, uh, Kiss from a Rose? No. It was in Batman Forever. It was like mm -hmm. super popular song back in the was it late nineties back then? Yeah, no, like, early uh, mid nineties. As I say, like ninety six. Yeah, okay. Ninety. So that was like one of the first songs that he did. That was like really popular. And then there was I, I believe I can fly. fly. I yep. believe I can fly. Yeah. I believe I can fly. Not always want to fly. That's a guy in the video mm -hmm. game. That was in um, Space Jam, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. What's wrong with that song? That's a good song. No, but I mean like everything else that he does is really bad. Was yeah, like the only songs that he did that. Well, I mean, everyone tells okay. me like okay. every other. Okay, like, so it's like it's, it's like the Toto discussion. Right, the three they, songs. They, that they, they have three th three songs. So Rosanna, Hold the Line, the line uh, and Africa, Africa. Right. right, but it doesn't make those songs bad. It just makes those songs really good. Yeah, and it's the same with Seal. Okay, Kiss by a Rose, I believe I can fly. Let's stop it there. Okay. You know why I got irritated at Seal? Because mm. I was I, I was using Spotify, right? Right making my playlist as I've been for like the last couple weeks mm -hmm. and I pull up um, fly like an eagle yeah right and I'm like cool this is a cool song but I didn't bother to look at the artist I just like I typed it in and I was like the first result should be the one that I want because it's a really popular song and it was seal and it came on and I just got really mad and I'm like <laughs> why is seal singing this song I'm like Pretty. wait who's that song from originally uh, is it the one that go fly, fly away? No, no, like it's fly no, like that's, an eagle. No, sea. yeah, I'm, I'm getting like confused with. Uh, I think me. there's an Iron Maiden song. It says. There could be. I knew until you asked me, and now I don't know. Yeah. But we have to hold that thought because the game's We're actually back in. going back into the game. Cost, yeah. I hate Seal. <laughs> I like Sorry, the Do you like Asia? Asia? Yeah. Is the heat of the moment? Yeah. That's like their only song. That's again. Yeah. I'm thinking of one. No! Oh, come on, funny. funny. Is that the second time? That's the second third. Third. Oh, third. 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 Yeah, third. No million dollars call today. You know what's really ironic is that in the lobby, somebody asked him to play well, <laughs> and then he goes, "I'm always strong." And then he misses three, <laughs> three dream coils. coils. Hmm. The outward. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But I would honestly say Empire have um, they have the advantage for now. The problem is going to lie if the sniper gets too much farm, because um, then it becomes ridiculously annoying to, like, they're trying to break tier twos now, that could still be well, hard. Like, look, so always want to fly goes down to half HP from one assassinate. It's going to be that, but his auto attacks are pretty much going to be doing the same amount of damage. Oh, that's attack. why they want the disruption. Hey, guess what, though? Level 4 shrapnel, good against... <laughs> Pushing. Push. <laughs> What do you think about that, Andy? I think it's pretty easy to just casually walk around. Hey, man, you see them walking back and not walking towards the towers? They abandoned the push. Like, no, oh. but that's that sniper is one of his um, one of his strong suits is defending. There you go. And you don't defend with level four take aim because you get jumped on. Oh, no, you do because you shoot him in the head. Ah, oh, man, you get jumped on by the sniper with the blink dagger and 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 Charles. No, Arley, and... R. Kelly did. I believe I can fly, not seal. That just changed the topic no, so no, fast. Absolutely. No, 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 somebody messaged to me, and I was like, oh yeah, they're right, and I just, I thought about it, and I was like, okay, whatever, shout Tell out to Kalen. Oh, it was Kalen, told me. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe him over me. I'm worried if you don't in this game. Oh my, cutting, blinking, stomping, ah, hitting, noosh. But now he has to run away from the crazy sniper that's Dude, mad. Mike blinks on him and double edges when he has Mask and Madness on. Yeah, he'll explode. He's but dead. that's the whole thing. It's a, it's a positioning game, basically, for Navi. Like, that's yep. that's what they want. I'd be surprised if Dendi doesn't go blink dagger now. You know, in light of that, like, saying that it's a positioning-based game, what purpose does the puck really serve here? Like, what is his goal? Because against Empire's style of lineup, the only reason a puck would really be that useful is if you had really high damage follow-up to try to go for kills and be aggressive. But I don't like defensive puck. Oh, come on. Oh, so it's not going to land as a result here. A little bit of this TP gets activated. That's going to allow him to survive long enough until the TPs are coming in. Tree is uh, the first one to TP but, in. But that's... Yeah, okay. Okay. They got to be KB. Punch him. Wait, did he Ooh. use Purge before BKB? I don't know. No. Oh, 
Oh, he punched it. Yeah, he punched the Lord. Silent. He does not have his DKB, but he's going to pop the Eclipse. Silent was there. Man, going to be oh, popping wow. small. Wow. 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 Monik's actually going to go down. So the disruption keeps him alive. He can't get vision for the Assassinate, so then he has to retreat, but he dies anyway. To the Poison Touch. They give away their offlaner and the support for a Luna kill. But not at a tower. Yeah. Radiance bottom Here tower safe, has dies. fallen. Always want to find resolution, just going ham. That's why I love Le Shark. Like he's so good at pushing for a support hero. I think that not Radiance having any wave players really hurting Hobby right now. Like I, I talked about it in the very beginning. Love like, Radiance structures no, are fortified. It's such a bad. Ability, Look at the bot lane. Look at that push. It's done. Always want to fly. He wants to get out of there. Where's the assassin? Oh man, he wants to run in. He's a coil. <laughs> then they just get right clicked down by <laughs> Nagabos. Why would the Mask of Man is turned on? Why? Why would? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. So Boosh. much for every hero being a Dendi hero. <laughs> that was just like what? Them necro books are scary. Like man. in what world is it okay to commit that hard for a support when you are like the second most farm person on your team? I respect the necro books. I, I think didn't have a screen is actually like what happened. The flames. But I just want to go back to your point about the puck. I, I think I mean, 100% uh, agreement. I, I think, like, if you want defensive hero, Puck is just not that good. I think Clockwork would have been excellent. Timbersaw would have been excellent. But so you know, yeah. on the top lane, Mag does have that mech. He will use it right then and there. And oh the burst, <laughs> barely oh, enough. So well. Even if he had a TP out, the, uh, the coil the break, break damage yeah. from Funic would have probably killed yeah. as well. So. You have to, for those of you who don't know, you have to TP halfway through the coil duration for a TP to not make you take damage when you leave. Then you get an axe up there. Yep. Um, eight second duration. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. uh -oh. oh, Mew Mew. Don't leave. Score. The rest of the piece. Dazzle! Use all your skills. All the skills. Regeneration. Actually, some people don't. <laughs> That's weird. Dyer's yeah, top tower well, is under so attack. As expected, Blink Mask of Madness coming out from Dondo. Yeah. By the way, he had Max take aim, bottom. <laughs> He would have actually killed him. If he had Max the game, he didn't, wouldn't have Rex left. Of, the, the okay, I'm sorry, but the shrapnel is not keeping them in the game. Yeah, it is. It's like 100% not. Like, it's just, a shrapnel like, and If you want to wave clear, buy like a maelstrom or something. And just shoot the damn creeps. Hey! <laughs> I'm just not a person. No, man. Next item, maelstrom. Easy. I think it is pretty good. As an I think maelstrom would be nice. What, yeah. maelstrom? Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they don't have any other ways. Like, who the hell is going to be able to clear waves besides maybe Hamos? Right? Like, he needs an MKB, I guess, is what he's going. Because he needs damage. And you always, when you, you always risk the... When you start trying to kill waves, you know, has like, fallen to the dime. Because that's a really large cooldown now. Yeah. Andy, I want to get your opinion on uh, Centaur's mech. So normally we see the first item after Blink is, like, the hood. Just to reduce... Or pipe or something, yeah. Yeah, hood or pipe. Yeah, just to reduce his uh, damage intake. But I guess mechanism sort of pseudo lead do the same thing and you, you get your team a mech builder, mech fire. Do you think uh, the hood is just better? Or? I think the mech is fine because in this situation, they don't. Pipe is okay. Like it stops rocket barrage, call down, I guess. And that shrapnel. And that, yeah, that, that really devastating shrapnel. It's melting the creep waves. It stopped every single push so far. It's keeping him in the game. Yeah. But no, I, I think it's fine. Especially okay. because he needs armor. Like, Centaur is going to be taking more right clicks pretty much than anyone else on the side of uh, on Empire. So he has to be, like, in the mix. And if he's Radiant's using his ulti defensively to attack. run away, like we saw earlier when he was bottom, and he kind of missed a stomp and was able to still retreat, if he's using his ult like that, he doesn't really need the hood to stay in the front line. He can just reposition with the rest of his team. Plus, he has things like disruption to get him out of bad situations because he will be the one who's in, like, every single time. Guys, I, I just want to point out, he's level 14 now. From now on, attack. all discussions about Shabner level 4 are completely irrelevant, since he would have had it anyways, no matter what skill he used. Unless he decided to skip. No, I can still speak retroactively. If he had Radiant's that take aim, he would have got two fallen. more kills and died he would have had like Yeah, 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 but from now on, like, every single team fight from now, it just doesn't matter what he went for. Because no matter what he went for, it matters to me, man. The early game has an impact on the mid game. This guy almost, it's like he plays Dota, man. <laughs> it's like he understands that things that happen in the early game affect the mid game. Alright, Julian in this uh, stop, looking for the biggest <laughs> overgrowth in his life. I don't have the texture. You do not. I mean, they have a book three, but it's now. Oh, here he comes. 
Call down, overgrowth, follow everything on top. They do have the mech, the deeps are coming in. And guess who's seeing the most deep? That shrapnel, level four, baby. Silent with the Aegis, he's right clicking. He's got the Mantis out. There's a disruptor saving him. Meanwhile, the Hermos, uh -oh. oh, he's gonna get hexed up. He's gonna go down. The trio walks back out and he says, I wanna go back to the trees, man. He gets invisible. up. Meanwhile, what's the cycle in the background? Is he done? He, he's just, he's in the base. He's in the base. He just ditched. Could've dropped another shrapnel. <laughs> And he will. <laughs> yeah. Here he comes. Shrapnel! Damn, shrapnel damage, guys. Oh, I'm gonna get another kill. The Mask of Madness turns on. I think Don though needs to watch some MV replays. Meanwhile, Puppy is gonna get choked. And uh, Bunny is trying to get himself out of there. He will. I think the, the thing that's hurting him the most actually is the fuck sack. I think that's Radiant why they're struggling so much. Fortified. I agree. If they had like a clock or timber. Yeah. I mean, even just picking a hero that could have been in the jungle. Wow, dude. Top tower like, has been you denied. could have picked a dark seer against this team, and it would have worked very well, just because of the fact that you have more high ground defense, and plus, you can surge people away from anything, really, that happens, and is a mech buyer, and he would be able to get farm, mm -hmm. and he would be able to stop pushes. I don't know, man. Okay, guys, betting time. Okay. Uh, they have a sniper, they have a tree that can heal your towers, and they have a pack to clear the waves, and that's it. Uh, when does Empire break the ground? 35 minutes. No, me? Sure. Yeah. Never. Uh, Navi's gonna you say Navi win. Yeah. Shane? Um, they're struggling at the, like, the Necro cre creeps are just dying straight away. Like, every, every time they summon them, they just die within, like, five seconds. Well, that's good, though, right? If, if the Necro dies, then the damage is dealt. Well, not necessarily. Like if it, it's kills not it. horrible. Look at if Hermos kills it, then yeah, it's not yeah, that bad. So if you've tree armor, the thing I mean, is, it's not going to hurt that it's much. It's kind of getting to that point in the game where Havos can do wave clearing himself. Like he can just shoot it, and once Nettie gets a maelstrom, he'll be able to push out waves at least a little bit. Like it's not obviously quite as good, but it's at least a step in the right direction. Because the biggest issue that Navi have is they can never push out lanes. Like they just have Empire sitting in every single spot on the map and just pushing and pushing and pushing. What if Havos goes Acceptor? and just starts clearing the waves from whatever. <laughs> then I think they lose. <laughs> yeah, I think I it's, it's fine, man. I... It's fine. Oh, Poppy's going from the rover road. He just gave him a leap seed. He's got a BKB now, so there's pretty much no way he dies. Maybe he's gonna force the Manta or BKB. Oh, I'm not invisible anymore. Stay near. Oh, hey. oh, wow. ooh, oh, ooh. He's taking a lot of damage. Got force on BKB, but entire rotation's coming in. Mag's gonna lead the charge. He's got Stampede. BKB gets activated. Oh, Hermos is right clicking on Mac Overgrow. Only gonna hit. BKB gets forced back out. A couple of BKB for each other. Me with Dendi though. He's gonna get trapped. Is it gonna be a grave for him? Oh, now they're gonna re engage the blink dagger on the back line. They want Puppy. Meanwhile, Dendi's already out of that fight. Age is gonna get exploded. Hermos does have Shadow Scroll as well. 11 Mac and Launch Charge. He's gonna be fine. Dendi somehow got caught. Now that was Puppy. Bot lane though. Got racked. He's getting sh Yeah, your base is dying, basically, while well, this happens. Yeah. Radiance bottom I was wrong. Has 29 fallen. minutes. Huh. But not in the way that I thought it was going to yeah. happen. I mean, to be fair. Are Navi dying to Red Dota? Is that, does that remind you of something? A little bit. It looked like a pretty poor decision on Empire's part. It's like, why are they just diving in and fighting relentlessly? Space and then you realize, it. oh, yeah. Basically. Yeah, the thing that was huge there is Mag actually had BKB. Because if he didn't have BKB, he would have just blinked in and died to Havos like straight away. But that didn't end up happening, and since the Luna had the Aegis, they bought enough time for bottom racks to go down. So all in all, it was uh, a tactical feed, basically. By always want to fly and uh, Mag. What a man. Actually, Luna died too, but again, Aegis. So Silent was just alive again at the end of it. Silent is pretty farmed right now. Dundo is so poor. Dondo's almost got Maelstrom, that would help greatly. I, I think Dondo hasn't been an impact at all so far. He's nope. 0 3 10. Like, it's not. Shramno assist for us. You know, here, here's another way to look at it. If you're just having poor farm, or like you just don't have enough damage, should be in. Shramno does the same damage every single time. Doesn't matter what items you have. Consistency. They have I mean, you, you can't really rely on right click damage. Like, yeah, like, like 30% of that creep wave's health and damage. I mean, I'm trying to walk through it. Not even, actually. Oh, like, oh no, the glaze. Oh my god. A lot of illusions. Yeah, that, that's what you're talking about.
Oh, the Overdrive actually going to hit on four. Bonnet goes in. He managed to hit a three man coil, but Silent, he's got that BKB there. Nice, great coming up here on the high ground. Nendi just going to the sound with the Mask of Madness. He's going to get disrupted. It might have actually just gotten him killed. There is a snipe up. Can Dendi get it? He gets the snipe for the Ghost Walk, and they'll be able to get a kill. They lose their tier three tower. Now they want to chase Puppy. He's got a blink again in one second. There's that shrapnel. Max Ray gets so good. Dendi going to get the double kill. Are they actually going to be able to turn this around and figure away? Headshot cancel. Always want to fly. The saddest rainbow pony I've ever seen. No impact. No impact. Dude, <laughs> it's like he hurt us, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> also, laser stick as well. I think they're gonna try to at least force a tier two. Meanwhile, they have to heed to their base and start defending that one. Maelstrom's back up. A swell 1,400 gold. So Dyer's once Mjolnir is online, that could get pretty scary because they're already having trouble breaking the high ground. They've been in King Empire. Well. If by having trouble breaking the high ground, you mean casually walked into the base and killed the entire set of bottom racks without any fight. contention. That was a ninja rack. That, yeah, that was a ninja. Yeah. Also, I guess I didn't expect a four man. Yeah, but a ninja rack is still a rack, and it still has huge impact on the game because that lane is not worth basically. Oh, I don't know. He's going to die to the balls. The balls is going in. He's coming out. Butterfly going to work. Well, he actually bought his Reaver like before the next fight, so if he hadn't spent that money, he would have died there. I'm just gonna say, I'm very much so impressed with this max disruption because I feel like that's doing a lot more than Shadow Poison. Just because they have Luna. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing them using him push multiple times. In the particular death fight, it just did so much damage. Well, Puppy just messed up there. Like, yeah. he didn't overgrowth. Like, I mean, he overgrowth, but he didn't overgrowth, which means that she just goes ham. And then you die. Like, it's bad. You can still attack and overgrowth, though. Radiance middle barracks are under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. It's basically like being frostbitten. You can cast spells, but you can't. Holy crap, Dendi takes 780 damage. Then strike root? He almost instantly dies from killing that. The Necro Baby, yeah. That's funny. What a silence. What a mm. silence. The thing about Sniper is that I think people have this misconception of when you play with him, you have to have, like, initiators, but it's actually the opposite, because Sniper can hit from so far away that you can force the other team to come to you. So you basically just need to build your team around Sniper. Like, you need to have heroes that... Protect them. Like, the tree was a great pick. I love that pick, because they were against Centaur, and it allows you to stop Centaur and initiation and things like that, but... The Pug just has no synergy with the team, I feel. Yo, this no, fight Sean is has fallen to the yeah, dark. Yeah, they can't take it. I mean, there's a cheese. They're gonna run it anyway, though. At least a little bit. Mag cancel the stop one time. He's got the Mjolnir on him right now. How much damage can they possibly do in this time? They're actually doing a little bit. Here comes Bonnick. He's gonna get an extra before he can do it. He might actually die before he gets a silence, and he does, in fact, do so bad for In the meantime, it's gonna be going down. Now, Havos, Ray's still on him. He's really low right now. He's trying to get Mag before he dies, but he just simply can't, and I think it's just a little bit too much right now. Navi, they trade away pretty much with both of the support. And the desperation snipe and Navi, they just say, Gig, yeah. GG. 35 minutes, GG. I was right about something. Yeah. Yeah. It was a fun game. Victory. I enjoyed it. A lot. I think their lineup could have worked um, if a couple of things went a little bit differently. I think having a hero like Gyro on the team with a sniper is a really smart play too, just because mm -hmm. it gives you that one impact hero who also kind of gets farm at the same time. And then you have two heroes who are really big threats during the fight.